What's up everybody? How y'all doing today, my good people? Hope y'all taking care of y'all self today, you know what I'm saying? Y'all know what to do, you know what I'm saying? Like, share, and call me, baby, and smash that dope bell for me, baby, you heard me. Keep God first, baby, over everything. So, you know, my good people, I'm going to let this video take off and I'm clear. Looks like catch it by the end, baby. Let's the go. frustrations of a 12 year old devastated tonight after the brutal murder of her mother. Her mother, that church's chicken employee that was gunned down yesterday. Police are still looking for this woman tonight in connection to that shooting. They say she pulled the trigger. Thank you for joining us tonight at 9. I'm Daryl Green. Darcy Thomas is off this evening. Now, tonight, that victim's 12-year-old daughter and her father are speaking only with Fox 13 News. Daniel Wilkerson, he's live outside the church's chicken where it happened in South Memphis. So, Daniel, have police said at all why this happened? Why did this all happen? They say it happened over a food order, Daryl, get that. We've also learned just within a few minutes that police have located the suspect's vehicle. More on that here in just a second, but in an exclusive interview, both the daughter and the father spoke with me. The daughter, as you would imagine, heartbroken over the death of her mother. She meant everything. At times, it was hard for 12-year-old Zoe West to even speak about her mother. I just want it. I just want my mama. I don't want nobody else my mama. I Zoe and her father, Lorenzo West, say Zoe's mother was that church's chicken employee fatally shot Monday night. West says he got a phone call. Let me know to get my daughter to get to the hospital and get her to shot. Sadly, he says his ex-wife, 48-year-old Anitra West, did not pull through. And she likes a way, certain way to live. She always worked for it. And that's what police say she was doing when she was murdered. It happened just after 9 Monday night at the Church's Chicken on Park Avenue. Investigators say this woman with purple hair drove through the drive through in this teal-colored SUV and had an argument with West. Officers say at some point, Wes walked outside to get some air. A few minutes later, witnesses tell police they heard a gunshot. They say the woman in the SUV then sped off the parking lot. Memphis police confirmed to Fox 13 News Tuesday night the dispute was over a food order. This 12-year-old would have to learn the news her mother died online. Zoe and her father say Wes was super smart. They say she loves serving people, and that's why she chose to work in the service industry. She was, well, we were married 15 years, and she was my high school sweetheart and all that. And we pretty much had gotten closer after we separated, and I, because we had to co-parent. At this point in the interview, I asked the question that sometimes is hard to ask families who have just lost a loved one. I asked whether there was a lesson that can be learned from all of this. Read the audience. Don't let your emotions get the best of you. Be in control of you. If you're in control of you, nine times out of ten, you control the situation to a certain extent. He says some people have no regard for human life and you never know who you're arguing with. As for this 12-year-old who will now have to grow up without her mother, she has this message for the killer. And I hope you die and suffer in hell. Back out live tonight and his child's mother have been divorced for about two years now. He says he's technically not the next of kin, so it's been really hard to get information from police as well as from the hospital. He says the next of kin is the victim's mother who he food worker is dead after police say she got into an argument with another woman in the drive through. Now what you're looking at right now, these are photos police released of the suspect in the Orange Mount incident before she sped away. Thanks for joining us everyone. I'm Alex Coleman. Hi, I'm Shay Arthur in for April. As WREG's Dorita Patterson tells us, investigators are now trying to put a name with that face we just saw there to track down the woman wanted for pulling the trigger. At the start of a new day, police are still looking for new clues following a deadly attack. Monday night, detectives were called to this church's chicken along Park Avenue in the heart of Orange Mound. In fact, Gregory Houston holds this community close to his heart as it's where he grew up. We should have a house out here. It was after he tuned in to WREG. I heard about her on the news uh, last night and it was very sad knowing this area was now at the center of a homicide investigation. Did she 
and hear that a young lady got killed on her job trying to make a living for herself. Police say a female worker here got into an argument with another woman in the drive through outside to, quote, get some air. Without warning, shots were fired. Sadly, the female worker did not survive. What remains unclear is what prompted the deadly attack, but a stunning new development as this was caught on surveillance camera. Looking for at the time of the attack had purple hair and was driving a vehicle with what appears to be a child's car seat in the back. A deadly fight that has those like Mr. Houston. And everything because it seems like this young lady, she might have probably about seven, about seven friends, you feel me? She might, she got cousins and no family members and stuff like that, but to me it's make, it makes me seem like that she don't really be around nobody that much. But me just looking at her, you feel me? Now her and her. Now her and the mama was like this. You could tell that. They were just like that. You feel me? So this lady took this young lady mother away from her. And that's probably the only person that she was really, really, really close to is an old girl. She was close to an old boy. But these girls be close to their to their old girl more than their old boy. I don't know what made this lady do this. Maybe she wanted some chicken. She couldn't get it fast enough. I don't know. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Maybe she woke up on the wrong side of bed. Maybe she had, was just waking up. Or she probably was on something. What made people do the unthinkable thing about shooting and zipping somebody up? And y'all ain't doing this arguing. It's like, so to me... This lady here, she was trying to really, really, you know what I'm saying, like really shoot some, shoot somebody. She really tried to shoot some. She, she probably been one to do it. She probably had the itch. She probably had the scratch. She probably had the trigger finger. She probably had all these thoughts in her head that what she gonna do to somebody. Cause nine times out of ten, if you go into an argument, you is not gonna say certain stuff to this certain person, and the person they never did nothing to you. This lady probably don't know the lady from a can of paint. You feel me? But this lady took the time out. She had enough time to think about is she gonna drive off or is she gonna shoot this, this this lady here? You know what I'm saying? Zip her up. And she did just that. So she wouldn't think about none of that. She would think about how she felt at that time, at that moment. You feel me? She ain't had no business doing that to that lady, man, because this lady, you tell she was she was trying to make a living. Like, you know what I'm saying? People know Church of Chicken, all these restaurants, they don't pay much. You feel me? But it's enough for her to keep the lights on, keep her daughter clothed, keep her, her daughter fed. You feel me? Nah, this lady took all that away from this young lady. Like, man, I don't know what this world coming into. People have their own mixed emotions about things in life. And they think for the worst. It's like, I don't know, you know what I'm saying? You can be talking to certain things, man. People just don't live up to it. You feel me? They just don't man, no more, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, my good people, that's the end. I'm going to scratch that. That's all I got for y'all, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to tell y'all a story, you feel me, about where I'm at now. You feel me? Uh, I, I can't really say too much right now, but, uh, cause I don't really know saying it's God or what, cause I don't know. I don't want to put God in everything and whoop, whoop. Maybe it is, maybe it's not, but I'm going to hip y'all to something. You feel me? So on this note, my good people, you know what I'm saying? Y'all like, share, and comment, baby. Smash that doorbell for me, baby. You heard me? Keep God first, baby, over everything. So on this note, my good people, I'm gone from y'all, baby. I'm gone. Ain't get enough beatin' for this. Ain't get enough beatin' for this. Ain't get enough beatin' for this.